by the government jnr they used to have uh, at the end of march there is what you call a shunto a general strike by the railway employees because uh, there is no industry i mean not within an industry there is no union but the people in the all in the, all in the same there be maybe a industry union for steel industry but not for a company which is only doing now that shunto every year for a wage rise they do there was also similar one their post office were so the government decided to close down the uh, government service or the postal service they closed off and then they allowed private uh, post offices to open the mails will have to go there is no problem over domestic mails there is somebody i want you to kindly uh, kindly close your audio there is a lot of noise from somebody's phone please kindly close your <coughs> then this private post office they have to deliver mail so what they have done from every country they have picked up one stamp from japan they picked up this any cover that goes this stamp because the private post office has engaged new employees so they do not even sometimes read whether it is japan or some other country so if they see this cover i mean this stamp on the cover that means this cover has got to go to uh, japan and then they printed with the, the they also got two colored stamps and then they were using it for mails going to japan that's why 1971 postal strike in uk <coughs> made use of this stamp from japan now after that federal week 1972 is this then first day cover of 72 is there then this is a 73 first day cover you can see uh, they all cancel with the, so many more the, the, the first day cover cancel has got a better value than uncancelled this is a philatelic week 1973 you can see suddenly the stamp size is slightly reduced now and then uh, uh, this is uh, if you see 1974 uh, is a stamp that is there 19 uh, 1973 this 74 stamp is there is the first day cover of the uh, 94 uh, stamp 74 stamp so i i i just went on collecting now if you if you see this one you can see a change in the uh, uh, the, uh, the sheet of the stamp there are two stamps together we uh, this is known as setenant the setenant stamps are two stamp you can use them either as one or double also uh, each one has a value of 50 yen or 20 yen so you can use it as a sheet or a two stamps or a single stamp so this is a certain and pair with which you can see the thing this is for 75 and 1976 so we have 76 stamp this is a 75 stamp and 75 was stamp was the first issue that changed the philatelic week from november to april then you can see uh, from that time onwards 76 april 77 april and uh, the the first day covers are 74 78 uh, with the cancellations i put them here now if you see then we have the 77 stamp 78 stamp sheets the certain and pair stamp sheets are there then philately week of 79 okay then 80 they are all uh, <coughs> very typical japanese kimono wearing people and then 81 is the stamp and then we have this uh, is a stamp of uh, 82 so that means every year continuously they have been uh, having this sort of uh, uh, pair the stamps now this is again a ukiyo-e stamp 1983 84 they were all ukiyo-e so very famous uh, uh, paintings the ukiyo-e painting needs a lot of people coordination though the artist is there it is a, a publisher and uh, he gets most of the uh, thing artists but there are people like block makers printers they don't get so much of uh, recognition out of this then 1980 uh, then 1983 uh, all min sheets then philately week 85 the first day cover of uh, 1985 then uh, sometimes when they give you the thing they also cancel and give with the complete details there's a card that uh, the post office gives you along with it you can get a stamp so this comes without a stamp but you buy the stamp paste it and then you get a thing just for your uh, keepsake 
So I have also shown that sort of a thing. Now, this is the Philately Week 1988. The Saturn and Pair. Now they have also issued the, with the same pair. Uh, earlier you have seen big long sheets. Now these are some miniature uh, sheets that are, they, the, uh, they have given. Uh, 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 the same stamp in a miniature form. So this is there again. Philatelic week, um, 89, 90. <laughs> then the first day cover, then <clears throat> Philatelic week, uh, uh, details of that given in a card in the post office. Then you can see a uh, number of uh, Philatelic week, 91, 92, 93. You can see the style of the pictures that have come have changed, more like uh, flowers and artistic things which are there now. And then uh, it, they, they keep changing the things. Now this uh, uh, is a origami that's there, but that is a very different thing. But this is a, a philatelic week uh, cover is what you see with the flowers. That's a first day cover. And then there's a card that has been uh, uh, sent as a greeting. You, you can paste the thing, get a stamp on that and then uh, send it to somebody as a keepsake. And then Philatelic 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Uh, you can see uh, there is the Philatelic 99. Uh, the sheet also has got a small stamp at the side called Philon Nippon. Now they also have a, a Philatelic exhibition of Japanese stamps. Uh, that's called Philon Nippon. Uh, that, that's a Philon Nippon 01. Uh, there is a different. Um, <clears throat> title or a theme under which I will be exhibiting Philo Nippon. Now, after that, in the in the in the middle, I have a gap. I, I uh, because we were doing this exhibition in my AOTS office, a part of the thing. The whole whole hall that we have something like two thousand five feet. That got filled up. There was no room for us to get new stamps. So in between, we became a little slack. Then uh, we again got stamps from two thousand two. But again, you look at this. This is a uh, different style of pictures that have been come inside. This is a 2003 uh, and then 2005. Some gaps are there. And then this is a 2006. Okay. Uh, this 2006 stamp. And it's the, the colors of the sea at the bottom. Uh, if, you, if you're you going to buy a four stamps like this, uh, if you can get them with the colors, that will be uh, better for you. And then uh, for 2007. Then 2008, if you see, uh, the designs are uh, very different and the colors are more golden in uh, thing. Now, uh, this is released on uh, April 29th. It is celebrated to promote a hobby of collecting stuff. Okay, Chinese 2009 Worldwide Philatelic Week took place in China, Leon. To commemorate this event, the Japan Philatelic Week issue was brought on 20th April 2009 which was designed by the artists of both countries and the flowers which represent China has been uh, selected. Now, if you see this one, Philatelic 2010, this year's Philatelic uh, Chinese Zodiac, and then uh, Chinese Zodiac is tiger. So you can see the uh, tiger because uh, every year we call uh, uh, th this year also a tiger week, uh, tiger year and the Chinese flower pony. An artwork of the tiger depicts both parts of, uh, by the Japanese painter and this is there. And now we have the Philatelic Week of 2001. You can see this depicts the olden days, how the mail was uh, carried around the place. And this is also the 140th anniversary of Japan Postal Service, that is 2011. So 2021, last year, was celebrated as 150th year of Japan Postal Service. Uh, the stamp has been bought in Japan. It is said to reach me, expected to reach me by April. After that, before we conclude, I'll also show them. You can see in the olden days, how the posts were carried by individuals who has to run and then a relay race, like what I've explained last time, was regularly taking place. Then, we are telling uh, 2012, this again, Okay, you can see uh, now the design of the stamps have become 
two layers and uh, I can't put it up uh, vertically. I have to do it uh, diagonally. Now, this is the last one that I'll be there. Uh, the stamp designer is like, now the, the person was, let me move this. Okay. Akira Tamaki is a designer of the stamp. He says, uh, the stamp designer is like a chef. In some instances, we start with our own illustrations, but when we are provided with ingredients of highest quality, we need to consider how best to arrange them to accumulate their flavor. It is like preparing sashimi. Sashimi is uh, one of the Japanese dishes where the point is, the highlight is the freshness because it's made with uh, fresh uh, fish. <clears throat> now, this is uh, like uh, uh, Hindu mythology that goes to Buddhist. So God of uh, wind and uh, there are two gods. One is God of wind and the one is God of thunder. Uh, you can see most of the uh, Buddhist temples that we enter on both sides, like our Dwarapalagas. Uh, these uh, two gods will be there. Uh, using them, this stamp has been designed by Tamaki. Uh, this is a 2018, very recent uh, stamp. Tamaki should have been the design of 2000. Philately work stamp using images of wind god and thunder god. By uh, the, the Tamaki only designed the stamp, but uh, Sotatsu was the person who drew the picture of uh, both these gods. How did he put in the thing was Tamaki's uh, thing. So he is like a chef who has taken the ingredients. These come from an early 17th century folding screen that the Jap that are Japanese national treasure. So that brings my this thing to the end. Thank you for watching. Uh, Mr. Abhiji, are you ready now? Hello? Mr. Abhijit? Just one second. Um, Bupal. And I unmute for the culture. I'm sorry, Mr. Abhijit is not able to come inside, even though he is logged in. So he has sent me his PowerPoint, and I'll be presenting on behalf of Abhijit. 
<coughs> Maybe uh, I, I will present, but I don't know whether I'll carry his spirit of presenting. I'll present what it is because uh, everyone who presents, he also puts his spirit into the presentation. So, Bhupalan, can you just upload that presentation, please, for me? Just a moment, sir. Please, share it. Rangaran sir, I think uh, Bijit has a uh, connectivity problem. Uh, in the event SIPA meet, uh, we find the challenge. Yeah, 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 he has got a connectivity problem. That's why we always say, if you have such a problem, you should double check in the morning. Work with my team. Okay. So you have the issue. When you come in the last minute and then come inside, you may have a problem. So we have to do that. Okay, let me present it. Because he has luckily sent his presentation to me, which I have forwarded to Bhopalan. We will do that. I can do that. Bhopal. Put it, put it. Even if we are visiting the exhibition, mm -hmm. we won't be getting this much information. We won't be observing. I think a lot of uh, input given within the short time about uh, the thing. It is very nice. Thanks. Thanks, Swami. Because in the exhibition, we walk around, you know. We have to just walk around and come. It's all uh, written yeah, very... Concentrated. Uh, yeah. The next yeah. week will be... Uh, there will be a small change and uh, instead of the what has been already announced because I'm waiting for a few more stamps uh, to come. Uh, it's so uh, that there will be a, a change for the, uh, next week. We are working on that. Uh, by tomorrow, I should be able to uh, put it up. There will be war and peace. Of Japan, why Japan went to war, uh, and then what has happened? Uh, the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, all that will be presented, and also the occupation. Uh, that will be the next week uh, presentation. Bhopal? Bhopal? Sir, to me, sir, it's downloading. Downloading, okay. I'm sorry, gentlemen and lady, uh, ladies, kindly just bear with us. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out now. Okay, sir. Okay. Come. Have you shared it, uh, Bhopal? Okay. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I am... Uh, this is the uh, second one, Bhopal. What's his first one? Where is his first one, man? Bhopal? Brother, first one, but first one. I need the first one, first one, not the second one. First one or second? Okay. 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 Then a first step. 
Okay. Uh, sorry to have kept you all waiting. Okay. Now, uh, Abhijit has uh, sent. He's a life member of SIPA. Okay. Uh, I'll just go through his uh, slides. I don't want to read uh, the long sentences. Uh, now, first one is just... Uh, okay. Uh, he is now... Uh, Abhijit is trying to send the landmark of my journey as a stamp collector. Uh, okay. And uh, Japan Philatelic Week was an Indian Philatelic Week. And information, some painters or paintings were used as stamps uh, for this week presentation by me. Okay. Uh, landmark in his journey, he says, uh, each generation will have its own experience of collecting stamps. As the situation changes, in many time, as a child, in my time, uh, as a child, stamps were commonly used. And therefore, one way was to look at older letters with family and relatives and collect. In 1958, I got my first stamp when my mother's sister gave me a stamp album and a packet of worldwide stamps at the age of eight. At that time, the most common stamp such packages were from Hungary, Poland, Romania, Czechoslovakia. And some of my earliest internet stamps are from the first packages that were given to me. Stamp collection, personal journey. These uh, stamps are from an older album that is facing between the stamps and some stamps are cut due to uneven placement. Stamp collecting, a yeah, personal journey. At the age, bigger, at that age, bigger size stamps are what has thought to be more valuable. Unfortunately, the first packet had only the smaller format stamps. Therefore, I was thrilled when I got this Hungarian bigger format stamps in a packet soon after. Some duplicates that were used for exchange with my school friends. Then to start with, I was fortunate to get this uh, old Anna value stamps. Because in India, before rupee, we had only Anna, uh, uh, or Anna value stamps, commemorative stamps from the envelopes of my parents and relatives. Some of the olden days, India stamps are seen here. First Asian Games, we are talking about 1951 and before then. The boarding school where I studied at that time, fortunately I had a post office and from where I managed to purchase my first mint stamp. Mint stamps is not used ones. Okay, Most of them, as what I showed you, was mint. At that time, mint stamps are um, a little more or a lot more expensive depending on the value of the stamp than a used stamp. It's easy to get the used stamp and then it's a knack of removing the used stamp. That's where uh, uh, my guru Balakrishna taught us how do we get the used stamp out of the cover? It's it's not uh, all that easy. You must recover the stamp uh, very beautifully. So uh, luckily, the, the first my the ABK would have those okay exhibition had only mostly used stamps, and we had to do a lot of work. We put all the stamps in the water and waiting for the stamps to peel off. That's the thing. So mint stamps is good to buy, though it's a little more expensive. But on the day, if you buy it from the post office, then you buy it at the exact value. Then there's no issue at all. That's what uh, Mr. Abjit was doing from the post office uh, to a decimal system currency. Then we went to rupee to Naya Paisa system. Now, the second source of stamps was the dustbin, where the school mail was thrown. I got a number of stamps from there, including some... Anna value, Anna, Anna value stamp, and Naya Paisa awards, apart from the service stamp. So the government when really uses, you can see the Moonutala um, Singham, that uh, uh, government stamps, uh, they are uh, uh, mostly used only for government service. So those stamps, uh, if you see a government service stamp, it will be there. Fortunately, few of the two rupee government stamps were found, which is good for exchanging with US stamp with foreign neighbors, earlier one was shown here. The, the, the US stamps are here, okay? And I also got my first Ceylon stamp. That time Ceylon was called as uh, Sri Lanka. And uh, I'm also sharing some of the earliest. Of course, Ceylon changed the name to Sri Lanka. Uh, I also do a lot of bird photography. So there is one in uh, Kerala, the place I went to take pictures. Then there's a particular bird, uh, very interesting. Someday I'll also show you in my next thing, which is called 
Ceylon frog mouth. Not it's not called as Sri Lanka frog mouth. It's called Ceylon frog mouth. So like what Abhijit uh, sir is selling, the earlier stamps are called Ceylon stamps. And then this Indian definitive. Definitive is small. Uh, the basic value stamps is definitive. Uh, I don't know. My can correct uh, me. My definition of definitive <coughs> of that period were get either through the envelopes found or from letters from letter. And again, when we were all small children in the school, we stamp, uh, we exchange, uh, then matchbox labels we exchange, marbles we exchange, whatever we can exchange, we used to exchange. So stamp is one good thing to exchange. So the, see on the right hand side, if you see, that is the survey stamp that you have. To see that India is what written. This is the government uh, uh, using survey stamp that we talked about earlier. Then uh, we were encouraged to have pen friends. That's another good source. My pen friend from England used some of these British definitive on his letter, which gave me most of my first British stamps. And then my first Japanese commemorative set, purchased from a shop in Mumbai. Now, this is all uh, commemorative means for a particular occasion to celebrate that, we come out. Now, today, if you see, for 50 weeks, we have planned to do one theme at least about Japan every week to commemorate the 70th year of India-Japan uh, uh, diplomatic uh, exchange. If you see, uh, Japan after the World War signed uh, diplomatic relations with uh, many countries in 1951. But India refused to sign there saying that we would like to establish our own. We don't want to be one of the uh, countries to sign, but we will sign independently with Japan because our relationship with Japan is very, very different and uh, it should be very personal. So we'll so we signed in 1952. That's why this today becomes a 70th year. Whether whenever I visited my grandparents in Calcutta early 1960, I visited nearby house where owner also sold stamps. So many people also sell stamps. 1964, Indian definitely started indicating values in Paise. Earlier, what were all in Nana, now it's become Paise. Instead of uh, Paise, once again, instead of Naya Paise. Naya Paise became Paise. By the time Naya Paisa become Purana Paisa, so it become Paisa. There, after this, definitely set was issued, which include the heroic god fighter, not, not fighter, oh, not fighter, the um, plane that we as, used to have as a fighter plane after the 1965 war stamp started to be issued. Um, and then you can see most of the stamps are still in monocolor. Okay. 1965 was another landmark. As that is the first time I had gone to Chennai Philatelic Bureau. <coughs> I don't know how many of you know that in Chennai Post Office, in Mount Road, Central Post Office on the side, you have a smaller building. You go inside, there's a Philatelic Bureau where you can go and buy stamps. And if you want any help, of course, South India Philatelic Association is the one that helps you. Gandhiji is a very favorite subject for many. We all have collected uh, some Gandhi stamps. Everybody has got some Gandhi stamps. Okay, and then I had uh, gone to regularly the philatelic bureau. Uh, stamp dealers used to be there. Also, help me, there are stamp dealers who sell stamps. We also have exhibitions where stamps are being sold. Okay, a Indian mint stamps are purchased from philatelic bureau. Philatelic bureau sales that is gone by the postal department. So on the day the stamp is released, you can buy it there at the actual price of the stamp. When you buy it from a dealer, the price will be varying. They have to uh, buy the stamps, hold with them, and sell it another day. So they, it also costs them uh, money of their own. They pay in advance and collect it. So they charge you more. <clears throat> Two of my father's brothers helped me to add to my collection. One of them had served in Germany for 10 years. On his return, he got many German stamps, including sets for me, which helped start my own German collection. Some of them are shared here, including uh, this. Thing. Now, you can see how these stamps have been uh, put here. Now, continue journey two. Gopal, two. Gopal? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Rendu put it on. Put it sir. Put it on. Thanks. Here are two. Sir, show it, sir. Show it, sir. Now, the... I'm going to tell you. I'm going to disconnect it. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs>
இங்க போயிடுச்சுடா பண்ணுமா <laughs> okay at a reasonable rate <coughs> this enabled me to create two new albums exclusively for indian and british sets these stamps which had been mounted in my four general albums till then were removed made into completed sets which i verified through such directories mm-hmm. this catalogs are mounted so a catalog is a very very important uh, thing we all uh, carry a catalog there this is my catalog everybody carry a catalog because we know the catalog tells you which stamp was released for what on what day so every country has got the catalog i have, i have japanese catalog so i work with that okay certain royal mail catalogs by british prince uh, council friend used to send the stamps proved to be very useful another area that marked my change over from stamp collector to philatel was that i started to learn how to use old letters and their cancellations like one given year received from my school friend okay i also talked about the uh, cancellation on close analysis friend to their envelope as a philatel i got the following import, important information The airmail postage from England to India was 1 shilling and 6 pence. The date and place of postage, a confirmation to this as an airmail letter. The diamond cancellation at the bottom shows the envelope was counted for certain statistics being complied by the Royal Mail. This is the information you get from the cover. When the reverse of the cancel, one gets to know the letter traveled directly to India with the uh, number of days it took from 18th, 19th century and all. So, these are the information that uh, almost all of us uh, will look for uh, uh, in a letter. These are the stamp catalogs. Oh, it's not moving. Okay. These are inside the stamp catalog. not very clear so based on such references i have created many exclusive st- albums for india britain japan us germany australia so you can make it country wise theme wise like what we have done within a country theme is can be made some countries like india and britain have more than five albums each not counting um, five common albums and so you can make any number of albums of your choice this is for a philatelist i share here a page from each exclude india and british album normally i keep cancel stamps alongside mint ones when i get them see uh, as you know mint stamps are not the one that has got a stamp now these are the mint and cancel both is keeping together and then this is a japanese stamp of course uh, 
this was released when the fall of uh, Singapore was there. That's a day on which, yeah, but it shows two rare Japanese definitive honoring their military or General Nogi and conqueror Formosa. And there's no Formosa is no more. That's I think Formosa is a different name now, Taiwan. And Admiral Togo, the one who has defeated two Russian fleets and the online Japanese dam. And of course, 1904, it was a big shock for 1904, 1905, 1906 is the time Russia and uh, Japan had a uh, war and uh, Japan met Russia. That is the first time a European country was defeated by an Asian country. That gave a lot of strength and credibility to Japan. He was the general who was there. Such online catalogs normally give you uh, year-wise details, date, and then national parks is another of uh, uh, Japanese, because Japan has got a number of national parks. There are so many themes uh, in Japanese uh, catalog you can see. are you changing or am I changing? Sir, I'm changing. Sir. Okay, hold on, buddy. Okay, okay you're changing. Uh, because you should be in line with what I'm talking about. These are some airline stamps. You know, some of them are uh, uh, used. One second, let me give you. Okay, Bupal, I uh, change one. Another useful reference is the biannual stamp album issued by various national postal authorities, which contain original mint stamps and relevant information. And of course, uh, all these things definitely uh, going to cost you some money. Uh, used stamps will cost you much less. Mint stamps and such album will definitely, over a period of time, it is like a madness. Uh, when we started Japanese stamps, we never thought that we were going to become mad, but we became mad. So. This is good to happen. <laughs> I can see my son uh, smiling there. The annual catalog is the details of each stamp issued uh, and then uh, subject of the issue, uh, issue date. You can see this on the example page. The subject of the seminar, the Philatelic Week stamp 1973, is given here for annual celebration uh, every year in April. A detailed presentation of Japan Philatelic Week and main issue will be done by Mr. Ananathan. And he's uh, some of the other subjects which stamps are issued are related to stamp. These are some of the Japanese stamps. The top one I have uh, also shown uh, 1973 Fratelli Week. Uh, next one, there are quasi national parks. Um, or we will be showing them on a uh, later on a team wise. For the 50,000 stamps I accumulated by 1970, and over three lakhs after that. Proved that I hope uh, uh, he's still staying inside his house because with three lakh stamps, you should find another house for the stamps and for you to live another house. That's what has happened to us in the old days also. Proved a little useful till I studied them and got to know more about history and culture of many other countries and finally categorized them and set as far as possible a multiple new album. This will enable me to remember the location most of the time. Currently, thanks to the encouragement given by members of SIPA, I'm able to upload relevant stamps on their site whenever important events or birthdays occur. In addition, slideshows, presentations showing relevant stamps, uh, articles have been created, presented by me. With the help of SIPA and fellow SIPA members, I'm indeed grateful for such opportunity, including this presentation. Bupal third, the difference between Japanese Philatelic Week and uh, International Indian Philatelic Week. International Philatelic Day or Philatelic Week is in November <clears throat> and it is directly connected with the formation of the Universal Postal Union. Yes. On, uh... on the 9th October 1874 at Bern, the Swiss capital. I find from reading Mr. Angarajan's presentation that, that even Japan started celebrating Philatelic in November but they also celebrated other days. They shifted it to April. Details of Japanese Philatelic Week, okay. Therefore, I'll, okay. I'm first celebrating Philatelic Week in 19, Japan first celebrated 1948, whereas such observation was not highlighted in India. Instead, India officially celebrated first Philatelic Day on the 12th October 2012, in which first day cover was given that is given is shown in the next slide. Bupal's mark. That's a first day cover that is there. A miniature sheet shows an early postman and the aircraft for the first air mile 
twice in the world and the stamp on the left, the first dual color stamp on the world for which a rare inverted sample shown here. Kindly look at this uh, thing, it's an airman stamp and uh, it is there. Uh, the guy is going uh, those days. Everywhere, even including Japan, I've shown you that uh, the, it is mails carried by people who used to run. The only difference is uh, Japan, last week also I told you, they always, Japan will never take any chances. They remain basically there. So there will always be two runners. Once somebody is there, they have to maintain the time. So the other fellow will take and run. The relay, it is like a relay from one place. So the relay runner, the moment he sees, he will keep, he'll keep running. So as he runs, he has to get the thing so that no delay is there. Uh, like some other time, we stop and now I'm reading here, Romanala, Chomarapate, and the Marilla, Lama, it has to keep moving. That's the thing. National logo is shown here. All three stamps are issued common slogan, J Hind. The stamps are a little small, so we are ready. Now, this is a Gandhiji. Next Indian Philatelic Day stamp, first day cover is issued only on 2014, 12th October. It is oriented toward customer service as a motto. Postal service has been emphasized with Gandhiji uh, in business. Short stamp, each from the first and second stamp sets issued on Gandhiji uh, by our country. You can see two things. The celebration after the Postal Week celebration in 2016, but no commemorative stamp was issued. Um, I'm sharing some samples from 2016 to 2000, including, okay, uh, 18, including envelope, where each day cancellation has been put on different stamps on the same postal cover. Okay. So, uh, an example postal week is scheduled for 2020 from the 9th October. There are six different events starting the World Postal Day uh, on the 9th October. 11th October was a holiday. So following days were celebrated in sequence there. 13th is a philately day, 14th business development day, 15th mails day. Some of the special covers and cancellation are shared here. No new commemorative stamps have been issued after 2014 for this. Look at the first day covers, all cancelled, very lot of uh, stamps. That's the first day cover on top that you see there. Bupal. Now, Germany had been celebrating stamp or philately day. This is a German cover, he has said. Uh, Tagger Mark. I don't know my pronunciation right. The first tag, Der Mark. The day was 14th August 1975. But thereafter, it started to be celebrated in October. It's 14th October 1976 being the first one. Thereafter, such tags are being issued between 9th and 12th, 15th October in different years. I'm sharing a few of these tags. Okay. Japanese Philately Day stamp, Ukiyo-e art. Uh, I've shown you those stamps, big stamps, 10 yen. Okay, there are Ukiyo-e. It's a jene, it's a jene the, of the Japanese art, which flourished from 17th to 19th century. The artist produced woodblock prints and paintings of such subjects as female beauties, kabuki actors, and so more. Well. Scenes from the history and folk tales, travel uh, landscape, flora and fauna. From the term Okioye, uh, this is all called as floating world. 1603, the city of Edo became the seat of uh, ruling Tokugawa shogunate. The merchant class uh, position at the bottom of the social ladder benefited the most from the city's rapid economic growth. Of course, Japan had a, a four level caste system. Apart from the daimyos on top, you had the samurai there. And then you had the uh, merchant class at the bottom. In between, you are the farmers and the artists. So that is the uh, level. The merchants had a lot of uh, money, but they were not socially up. Uh, and therefore, they used to spend a lot of money in the uh, pleasure quarters of uh, Tokyo. And then they engaged these artists to draw pictures of them. And some of these artists became very famous. Of course, it is not a one-man job, this ukiyo-e print. The artist has to draw, then the publisher has to come, there must be a block maker, because those days there's no color printing. 
So the same picture has got to be different blocks, different colors, one or the other. It's not an easy job. So that's what they used to do. And then uh, indulge and patronize the entertainment of Kabuki theater. Came to describe this hidden sick child syndrome. Printed or painted Ukiya works were popular with the merchant class, which had become wealthy enough to afford decorate their homes with that. This is Ukiya thing, a girl blowing the what they call. And then that is Utamaru print. He is the best known for his. Uh, Bijin Okubu, it is large headed pictures of beautiful women of 1790s painting shown. This is a 10 year stamp, 1955. I also shown the stamp for. Okay, next, Opal. This is 1973, Philatelic Week stamp. Okay, Kishida wrote the, drew this picture. He was a, a well Japanese painter in the Taisho and Showa period. They're the two gen. Uh, Taisho and Showa are Meiji's son is called uh, Meiji Emperor. The after uh, the only then this uh, periods have started e era. What they call as era after Meiji Taisho was his son. Showa was his grandson. Showa's period was uh, one with a lot of turbulence. The World War coming up. I mean the war, atom bomb. Everything was during Showa period, and it is well known by for his Nihongo style of painting, which incorporates Eastern art styles from the early Ukiyo-e painting style. After his death, two of his paintings were designated national important cultural properties. Next, Bhopal. Among the women painters, who after the accession of Emperor Meiji, okay, after the uh, Edo period, it is a Meiji government that took over, uh, and uh, Emperor Meiji, on an opportunity to express the artist skill was Uyamaru Shoen, who has been honored with a stamp shown here. A painting by her was used for the 1965 Philatelic Week. Next, please. Thank you for your interest and patience. And uh, thank you all very much. And uh, I hope, uh, uh, Abjit sir, I've done justice to your uh, presentation. Thank you very much. And thank you, Sipa, for sparing the services of Ms. Abjit. And, uh, Thank you all who are present here and uh, uh, listen to the presentation today. Next week, next week will be uh, very interesting because it's got a lot of history connected to the Pacific War or the Great uh, Eastern Asia War. Uh, and then uh, why did uh, Japan get into the war? Because everybody said Japan went and occupied. But believe me, all the Asian countries were occupied even before when they by all the Europeans. So it's not that the Japan went around. They all occupied. The one good thing that happened to all of them is after Japan surrendered, every country got liberated. So that's a good thing that has happened to all of them because of war. Right. More details about that next week. I'll be talking to you the history side of it. Thank you all very much. Namaste. Have a great day. Thank you.